Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to make a future bass beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project tempo to 150 beats per minute and the project key to B flat major. I'm going to make a drum part to give me something to compose to. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to drums, drum pads, electro pop kit. I put claps on the third beat of every bar. Then I add closed hats on eighth notes with an open hat on the last eighth note. Then I add hip hop style kicks. I put a couple of side sticks at the end of the second bar. I turn this track down to minus 9 dB to give me headroom to add other sounds to the mix. Now I want to compose some chords to base the track's music on. I add an instrument track and set it to keyboards, synth leads, 2 saw detune. I turn this track down to minus 14 dB. I compose a chord sequence that plays B flat major 7, G minor 7, A minor 7, and F minor 7. This gives us a cool jazzy vibe, but I feel the chords will be too repetitive without some variation. I duplicate out the existing MIDI clips, and you can duplicate clips or MIDI notes in BandLab by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, then dragging them into position. I select both chord clips, right click, and select Merge Regions. This turns them into a single clip. Here I delete the final chord and replace it with a D minor 7 and a C minor 7. I want the chords to have a more vibrant feel, so I open up the effects panel and add a modulation, dimension B chorus effect. I set it to preset 03. Then I add a reverb, studio reverb, setting the mix to 3.0 and the size to 4.8. I like this sound, but I want it to have a more animated feel. So I add a tone, multi-filter, and set its mode to all pass. I use BandLab's automation lane to automate the multi-filter frequency parameter, modulating its value at the end of each chord. This gives us something like a vibrato effect. Next, I need a bass. I add another instrument track, and this time, Set it to Bases, Synth Bases, Deep House. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB. I create a new region, dragging it out to 8 bars in length using the handle at the bottom right hand corner of the clip. I program a part that follows the chords on 8th notes, skipping the 8ths with claps on them. I'd like a more rhythmic version of the chords, so I create a new instrument track, sending it to keyboards, synth keys, trance pluck. 
I turn this track down to minus 14 dB. I duplicate the MIDI clip from the original chords track, and this time repeat the chords on eighth notes. I'd also like some alternative keys to play when the main chords aren't playing, and for this, I use keyboards, synth keys, airy keys. I turn this track down to minus 8 dB, and duplicate the chords over from the original sustained chord track. Now I'd like to make a lead line. For this, I use Voices Spacebot. I turn this track down to minus 3 dB. I program a lead that hits the B flat, the G, and the A, with a drop down to the F the second time around. I duplicate this 4 bar clip so it plays over the whole of the chord sequence. I don't want this part to sound so dry, so I add a studio reverb, setting the mix to 7.4, the size to 1.7, and the color to 0. I'd like a variation on this lead, so I right-click the track and select Duplicate Track. I set the new version of the track to Voices, Ah Synth. I also change up the end of the second clip, so it hits the C before going down to the F. For the arrangement, I'm going to need some sound effects, so I open up BandLab Sounds and select the One Shots tab. I enter effects into the search field. TGFX Zap Effects Shot will be good for an ear candy sound to mark the start of a new section. I turn this track down to minus 7.5 dB. MT Dub Synth Effects 75 will make a good riser. I put this two bars before the end of the sequence and truncate its tail. I turn this track down to minus 9 dB. Grime 101 effects makes a nice complementary riser. Again, I place it two bars before the end of the sequence and truncate its tail. I turn this down to minus 3 dB. I'd like an impact sound to layer with the zap effects shot, so I change my search to impact. IGH Kit 02 Shots FX Deep Impact is the sound I choose. I truncate it and turn it down to minus 14 dB. For the arrangement, I begin with the first four chords, played with the trance pluck. These are then layered with the keys, before the risers lead into a false breakdown. Here are the main chords and bass drop. However, the drums and bass don't play for the first two bars, and instead we get the zap and impact sounds. After eight bars, the plucks are reintroduced, this time playing the full chord sequence. In the next section, the hip-hop style drum pattern is replaced by a house pattern, with kicks on every beat, claps on every other beat, and 
open hats between the beats. The bass line is also changed, and it plays continuously with no gaps in the section. Lead 1 plays for 8 bars, and that's followed by lead 2 for 8 bars. Next we have a bridge, where the trance stabs play some alternative chords. These go with B flat major 7, D minor 7, C minor 7, and B flat major 7. Eight bars later, the bass and alternative keys are added, using the same chords. After this, the main chord drops again, and the arrangement repeats the bar 17 through 49 section. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!